I am Anil Kumar and here is a practice test question on functions for you. A ball is thrown upwards from the roof of a building 60 meter tall. The ball reaches a height of 75 meters above the ground after one second and hits the ground six seconds after being thrown. Write height of the ball as a function of time, determine domain and range of this function. I have solved a similar question in my videos and I am also providing you with the link for the same. I would like you to go through that if you don't understand how to solve this. Well, here is a hint. I will not provide you with the solution but I will give you the hint and also the answer uh, of the question for you to try. So basically what we are given here is, is a trajectory of the ball. So the ball is thrown, it is kind of like this. Independent variable is t, the dependent variable is height of the ball in meters, time is in seconds. Right? A ball is thrown upwards from the roof of a building 60 meter tall, so at t equals to 0, height is 60. Ball reaches a height of 75 meters, let's say this is 1, t is 1 and the height is 75 meters. Above the ground, after 1 second and hits the ground 6 seconds after, so after 6 seconds it hits the ground. So basically on this parabolic path you are given 3 points. Second point may or may not be the vertex. Assume that it is not, right? Now based on this you need to find the function to represent this parabolic path. So obviously this function has to be quadratic function, right? So we can write the function as h of t equals to a t square plus b t plus c. Now to find the values of a, b and c, we can use these three points. Now points given to us are at t equals to 0, the point is 60, right? And at t equals to 1, the value is 75, that is the height and for t equals to 6, the height is 0. Substituting these, you will actually get three equations. For example, the first one will be 60 equals to 0 plus 0 plus c. The second one will be 75 equals to, when you substitute 1 here, a plus b plus c. c is 60, so you can actually write 60 also. Let me write c first. You can write 60, right? And the third one will be, 0 equals to substitute 6 here, you get 36a plus 6b plus c. So these are the three equations to solve. Clearly, c is 60 and now we know c is 60. So we are left with two variables and two equations. You can simplify and solve them, right? So you can use the, either use substitution or elimination. You can say a is 70 minus 60 which is 15, 15 minus b, substitute and find. So that is how you could actually solve and once you solve you can write down the answer. The answer should be, it is the same answer which we got in one of our examples and therefore I am writing the answer here, minus 5t square plus 20t plus 60. So that is the expected solution of the given equation. Once you get this, you clearly know what domain is, right? The domain is from 0 to 6, right? That is the domain, but range is kind of typical. How will you find the range? So for that, you need to find maximum, right? You need to find maximum. To find maximum, you should do completing squares. So do complete squares to find the maximum, correct? And then you will get your answer. So let me write domain here. Domain for the function is from 0 to 6 and the range uh, for the, I should write, for height will be the, the range is from 0 to 80. So that is the answer. So once you complete the squares, you will get the range also. I hope 
all this helps to solve the question. I'm Anil Kumar. You can subscribe and learn a lot from my videos. Thank you and all the best.